Monday night in Oklahoma City, Rudy Gobert was part of a game-saving defensive stop for the Jazz. Longtime fans weren't surprised. This is what Rudy does, after all, something those of us who watch him every night already know. What we may not have realized, though, is just the degree to which he's lapped the NBA field in terms of late-game defensive exploits. Some no-name reporter named Ben Dowsett decided to help quantify this for us in a series of tweets. Firstly, per second spectrum data via a source, Rudy has been the man contesting the single most shots of any NBA player during what are called clutch game minutes since the start of the 18-19 season. That is, minutes within the final five of the fourth quarter or overtime, while the score of the game is within five points either way. Rudy has challenged 164 of those shots. What's really remarkable, though, isn't how many of them he's contested. It's how much stingier he is on these than anyone else who's regularly on the floor in these spots. When you compare Rudy to the other guys who have defended at least 100 of these shots, look at how far below second place his field goal percentage allowed is. That's over five full points between him and Draymond Green, the next lowest on the list. That starts with pick and roll defense, where Gobert is simply a master of guarding two players simultaneously. Watch him impact John Morant's floater with this well-timed swipe without ever leaving Jonas Valanciunas. Swipe! Here's another example. You'll see Gobert miss with the swipe, but he stays attached, impacts the shot, and the Jazz get a stop. The data paints a clear picture. Gobert has faced the fourth most pick and rolls in crunch time of any man in the NBA dating back to 1819, plus has the fourth lowest efficiency allowed among guys who have defended at least 100 of these sets. There's so much nuance. See if you can detect everything here at full speed. He's going hard against Gobert. Now again, a little slower so you can track it. First, you'll see as Ingram comes around the pick, Gobert meets him dissuading him from shooting the mid-range J with his length. Immediately, though, he has to backpedal to contain his dive man. Finally, when he's cut off the pass, he loads up for the contest. Let's do another. See if you can count how many defensive things Gobert does on this possession. He's making up for it. Yeah, inside the finger roll, denied. Still got the rebound and cleared it down. I'm not sure that ball touched the rim. It did not, so the clock, shot clock's at five. Bogdanovich now with a season high of 30 points after those two makes from the free throw line. One more time. Rudy is playing way back in the paint here. You'll see his first positive play is picking up the Spain pick Chris Middleton is about to set. Spain is an extra pick as part of pick and roll, meant to put the big man defender off balance. Rudy sees it and dodges it. Next up is more of Rudy's traditional bread and butter, rim deterrence. George Hill should probably have shot here, but as we've seen many times in the past, Rudy's mere presence forces a bad decision, and George passes out. Now it's a reset and recover, as Rudy sticks with Giannis Antetokounmpo going towards the rim. Psh, what a scrub. Didn't even get the defensive rebound. Finally, it's a little more two-on-one defense for Gobert, impacting another shot, and finally, getting that defensive rebound. They should teach Gobert's footwork to young big men. Look at the way he swivels his hips here while defending this Chris Paul pick and roll, and contest the shot well. Look again even slower. Swivel, swivel. Doesn't exactly look like an immobile big man to me, but yeah, what do I know? Second Spectrum also tracks closeouts, another area where Gobert has been elite defensively the last several years, albeit on a relatively small sample. He has a reputation as a lead-footed rim protector who can't defend in space. Hmm, I don't know. Watch these next couple plays and maybe you tell me? Goes to work out on the perimeter. Rudy gets turned around, the long right, but, oh my, where did he come from? Finally, everyone should know by now that you can't go one-on-one -on -one with this guy. Both isolations and post-ups are generally ineffective against Gobert, but particularly during the clutch minutes, highest leverage minutes of the game. The Jazz are usually fine with teams aborting their offense to attack one of the best defenders in the world one-on-one. -on -one. Four to shoot, in trouble. That's what happens with Rudy Gobert, that's why he's the defensive player of the year. Is a post-up against this guy really your best crunch time offense with 15 on the shot clock? Well, do you, I guess. 
I appreciate you supporting my work any way you can. Please follow the above accounts or go to my Patreon account in the description below and subscribe for just $1.99 a month to get all my Jazz Film Room content.